Hello. This presentation is meant for my nursing students. And the reference for this presentation is the textbook of medical surgical nursing by Brunner and Siddharth, 14th edition. Today's topic is assessment of kidney and urinary function. The kidney and the urine the kidneys and the urinary system include the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and the urethra. The kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped structures located retroperitoneally, that is behind and outside the peritoneal cavity, on the posterior wall of the abdomen. The right kidney is slightly lower than the left due to the location of the liver. Kidneys are not usually palpable unless there is distension, which is abnormal. Deep palpation is not part of the nursing assessment. As seen in the picture, the kidneys are close to the diaphragm, and so surgeries to this area can cause pain while deep breathing. Care is to be taken to prevent atelectasis. Surgical incision for renal surgeries or kidney biopsies are usually performed in the posterior abdominal region, or is commonly referred to as the flank region. Since there are two kidneys, patients can still produce urine if one kidney gets damaged or is surgically removed. If a nephrostomy is placed in one kidney, there will be urine in the nephrostomy bag as well as normally through the urethra. The main blood supply is from the renal artery, which arises from the abdominal iota. The renal veins brings the blood back to the inferior vena cava. During kidney transplantation, the donor kidney consists of one kidney along with a long piece of the ureter, the renal artery and the renal vein. The donor renal arteries and the renal veins are anastomosed with those of the recipients, and the ureter is inserted into the bladder of the recipient. The recipient's diseased kidney and the ureter are not removed. The donor kidney is placed in the iliac fossa most often. The renal parenchyma is divided into two parts, the outer cortex and the inner medulla. The nephron is the functional unit of the kidneys. Each kidney has about 1 million nephron units, which is where the filtration takes place. Renin is also produced in the nephron. Renin is the hormone which helps in the control of arterial blood pressure. Renin is released when the arterial blood pressure or blood volume decreases, which results in RAS, renin angiotensin aldosterone system, which results in increased blood pressure and increased blood volume. When renal perfusion is decreased due to hemorrhage or heart failure, liver, secreted, liver secretes the angiotensinogen, which in turn results in release of renin. Renin converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. In the presence of coenzymes from the lungs, angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2. In the presence of angiotensin 2, aldosterone is released from the adrenal glands, which results in vasoconstriction, increased sodium and water reabsorption, and potassium excretion. Angiotensin also causes vasoconstriction and increased myocardial activity and prostaglandin release, which results in increased blood pressure. With sodium and water reabsorption, urine output decreases, which is to be noted. Prolonged RAS can result in acute kidney injury. Functions of the urinary system. First, production of urine. Urine is normally clear and straw colored. Urine output must be at least 30 ml per hour, or to be exact, 0.5 to 1.5 ml per kilogram per hour. A person must normally void at least every six hours. Foul-smelling urine, also called as malodorous or cloudy urine, may indicate infection. Excreting waste products. The kidneys excrete the metabolic waste products, mainly urea, creatinine, uric acid and other drug metabolites, among other things. When the kidneys fail, drug metabolites do not get excreted and so they stay in the body longer, causing problems. 
Therefore, patients with kidney issues are given a lower dose of medications. Nephrotoxic medications are avoided. The blood urea, nitrogen, or BUN, and creatinine levels are closely monitored when nephrotoxic antibiotics like vancomycin are administered. Trough and peak levels of medications are measured to ensure therapeutic levels of these medications. The normal adult GFR or glomerular filtration rate is 125 to 200 ml per minute. Regulating fluid electrolyte and acid base balance. The antidiuretic hormone or ADH is also known as vasopressin and is produced by the posterior pituitary gland along with the kidneys. It increases or decreases the water reabsorption to maintain the water balance. The normal blood osmolarity is 280 to 300 milliosmoles per kilogram. Aldosterone from the adrenal cortex maintains the sodium and potassium levels. The kidneys excretes excess acids, reabsorbs bicarbonates, thus helping to maintain the acid-base balance. The normal serum pH is about 7.35 to 7.45. Controlling blood pressure. This is maintained by the RAS. Failure of RAS results in hypertension and kidney failure. Production of erythropoietin hormone for RBC. Anemia, arterial hypoxia, or inadequate blood flow causes the release of erythropoietin that stimulates the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. In patients with chronic kidney failure, erythropoietin and iron is administered parenterally as they cannot be produced by the kidneys. Next function is synthesizing vitamin D for bone metabolism. The kidneys convert inactive vitamin D to its active form 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol. Vitamin D is necessary for normal calcium balance in the body. Secretion of prostaglandins. The kidneys produce prostaglandins that are vasoactive and helps in the control of blood pressure. Urine storage. The bladder is the reservoir for urine and it normally stores 300 to 500 ml. Any obstruction of the bladder outlet, such as benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH, results in a high voiding pressure, which makes it difficult to start the urine flow and maintain it. When the bladder gets full and the patient is unable to avoid, the area above the symphysis pubis gets distended and tender. Residual urine is the amount of urine that remains in the bladder after voiding. To check for residual urine, the bladder should be percussed after the patient voids. Percussion of the bladder begins at the midline just above the umbilicus and proceeds downwards. The second, the sound changes from tympanic to dull when percussed over the bladder. The bladder can be palpated only if it is moderately distended and is, and feels like a smooth, firm, round mass. Dullness to percussion of the bladder after voiding indicates incomplete bladder emptying, therefore is abnormal. A bladder ultrasound that does not require the physician's order is performed by the nurses to measure the amount of urine in the bladder. This amount is promptly reported to the physician so that appropriate recommendations for a straight catheterization may be made, depending on the distended bladder volume, or in other words, the residual volume. The normal residual urine volume is zero to 50 ml up to a middle-aged um, in a middle-aged adult and uh, 50 to 100 ml in the older adult. Gerontological considerations. The GFR decreases starting between 35 and 40 years of age. Older adults are more susceptible to acute and chronic kidney injury due to structural and functional changes of the kidney. This includes sclerosis of the glomerulus and renal vasculature, decreased blood flow, decreased GFR, altered tubal function, and acid-base imbalance. 
Aging reduces the ability of the kidneys to respond effectively to drastic or sudden physiological changes. The decrease in GFR, along with use of multiple medications, puts the older person at risk, at higher risk for adverse drug effects and drug-drug interactions. Older adults have a decreased sense of thirst and are more prone to develop hypernatremia and fluid volume deficit, which results in acute kidney injury. It is important to emphasize to the older patient the need to drink throughout the day, even if the patient does not feel thirsty, to drink water. A large population of the elderly have heart disease, hypertension, and may be on diuretics like furosemide that will further cause dehydration that can result in acute kidney injury. Decreased bladder wall contractility and obstructions due to BPH results in incomplete emptying of the bladder and urinary stasis. The, com the complication with urinary stasis is UTI or increasing bladder pressure leading to overflow incontinence, hydronephrosis, pyelonephritis, or chronic kidney disease.